Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 13, Episode 17, A Whole Lot of Mess. We're still at Blaze. Um, Portia is still upset with Marlo, so she doesn't speak. Cynthia asks why, and Portia, 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 Portia is like, you know, now is not the time, you know, we around Mama and them, so I'm gonna keep it cute, but I ain't speaking. Um, everybody, you know, gets there and Candy, you know, takes everything inside, you know, she thanks everybody for coming. Let's go inside and eat. So once seated, Shamia, she gives everybody face shields. She's had them all bedazzled and blinged out. And so she gives everybody one. Marlo takes that time, you know, to apologize to everyone for her behavior, um, specifically to Portia because Portia wasn't there. She um, apologized the night before. They show us a little clip of that, of her apologizing to the rest of the ladies. Uh, Portia wasn't there for that, so she's apologizing again. Portia's like, okay, girl, whatever. <laughs> you know, she'll play along. Um, Kenya ends up pulling Candy to the side. She's preoccupied. You know, she got a, lo a lot of other things on her mind. Um, Brooklyn's birthday party is coming up, and Mark is in town. Like, I guess he had touched down, like, right then in that moment. And so she had to leave, honestly. She said, listen, I wanted to be here and, you know, to support you. Um, I think I've done that. <laughs> I fulfilled my, you know, obligations, my contractual obligations. And so I'm going to just go on and be at. And so she was, she left. Um, at the table, <laughs> Nora, Aunt Nora, she done took Ralph by the hand. Tell me, come on, let's go get a drink. Ralph said, stop playing. <laughs> y'all y'all better watch Aunt Nora because Aunt Nora over there trying to put that thing on Ralph. And I believe Ralph would let it happen. I believe Ralph wouldn't mind, you know, giving it a go. <laughs> he seemed like the type that'll, you know, lay it low and spread it wide with a, you know, a more seasoned woman. Listen, don't, don't let the age fool you. I know I know her got some tricks up her sleeve. Um, the rest of the food comes out. Everything looks delicious, especially the fried lobster tail. Listen. I'm trying to go and I'm trying to taste it. Um, I've never had fried lobster tail. I've never had fried um, crab or, you know, anything like that. Any of the ones you got to crack the shell. Um, you know, fried shrimp all day. <laughs> fried shrimp all day. Um, but no, I've never had that. Um, so I'm going to have to go on and try that. It looked delicious. Um Cynthia, and she, she reminds the group that she has, you know, her small business pop-up um, shop, you know, coming up. And, and I was wrong in the, in, the, in the last one. I'm over here talking about it's for, they did a PSA for voting. I mean, listen, they should have because we was about to vote <laughs> on Warnock and um, Ossoff, but that ain't what they was over there talking about. They were talking about small businesses and supporting small businesses, especially now that we're in the pandemic, like that we need to support them the most. Um, and so that's what it was about. She was having a pop-up. Well, she and Portia were having a um, pop-up shop. And so that's what she was, Cynthia wanted to remind the ladies to share, 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 put it out there, you know, get the word out, have everybody come down and support. Um, the food, you know, comes out or whatever. And Marlo ends up, um, apologizing again about her behavior. And, um, you know, she said she texts, uh, Portia that next day wanting to talk. And Portia was like, oh yeah, I meant to text you and ask you how your back was doing. Are you okay? And Marlo says, oh yeah, I got a back brace on right now. And Shamia was like, um, one of them asked her about having lipo. <laughs> She said, oh, no, she offered up that information that she was, um, you know, going to get lipo. And Shamia's like, oh, really? I mean, I, now or like you had lipo because I, you know, one of my friends who, you know, goes to the same doctor as you, they saw you. And so they said you got lipo. <laughs> so before the trip, it seems like Marlo is like kind of caught up in something there. I don't know. It's, it's very petty. And I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care if that... I'm sh we the people, Marlo, do not care whether or not you really got lipo before the trip, after the trip, during the trip. We don't care. That like we don't care. <laughs> Shamia, we don't care. You not you not spilling some, you know, like delicious tea. 
you know, and trying to throw that out there because we don't care. Anyway, um... Marlo asked Aunt Nora, here she go again. Because, see, the first time it was Big Frida. Let's say, hypothetically, nah, now you over here ask, asking Aunt Nora, so, like, what do you think the breakdown is between me and Portia? And Aunt Nora, like, but I thought y'all was friends. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought y'all was friends. Marlo, you need to stop dragging, you know, uh, other people, you know, outside of the group, especially into the fold, you know, because it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, it's unnecessary. I know I don't know what's going on between y'all. She has no type. She has no context behind any of it, you know? So what you doing? <laughs> it's, it's passive aggressive. And, you know, because it puts Portia in an uncomfortable position once again. Don't do that. Anyway, Marlo ends up leaving. And, um, you know, because she <laughs> she getting upset that she she about to, you know, spill all, you know, spill all the tea about Bolo Gate leaning over there talking to Candy. I mean, I could just really go in. She might want to, you know, she might want to let it up. Girl, please. <laughs> just go on and say it if you're going to say it. Like, we done already said it. Enough. So tired of Bolo. I am sick of hearing about Bolo. If I ain't ever got to hear Bolo again, I'll be happy. Um, Marlo ends up leaving and they sing Mama Joyce happy birthday. We out. We, we out. We out. Next scene. <laughs> um, Kenya, she calls her doctor. She wants to get her boobs, um, you know, perked up. You know, you know, they spruced up a little bit. Um, after having Brooklyn, she feels like they a little bit is saggy and, you know, a little lopsided. She got to get them, you know, fixed up a little bit again. Let's note, she said again. <laughs> But she going to go get them, you know, fixed up a little bit. Um, then we see Cynthia over there. Her and Mike, they at the house getting on the scale. Cynthia is seeing how much weight she's gained. I wouldn't have put Cynthia at no 195. Like, no. Nah. She carries it well. and But she's tall. So, you know, you have to factor that in. Tall people are going to weigh more than a short person, you know. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes because you know that they like to say everybody overweight i mean they would they would say i'm overweight when i had my kids they were telling me i was overweight and i was at least like 140 something and they was telling me you're overweight <sighs> f you america <laughs> and your body shaming you know like because that's all that is like as a doctor i wouldn't even be telling folks they over i'd be like listen you look good are you healthy are you healthy let me, does your heart work? Is your heart working well? Are you healthy? That's all that matters. Like, ain't nobody finna be weighing 110 out here just because I'm 5'4". I, I ain't gotta weigh 110. <laughs> that don't look good. That don't look good. I done weighed 110 before and I ain't like that. <laughs> I did not like how thin that looked. No. Anyway, I done got, I done really went, <laughs> really went left. Um, <clears throat> Anti ways, Ralph and Drew, they working out um or whatever, and when they're finished working out, they 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 talk about the baby's blessing. Now they gonna have a baby blessing, and she was gonna have the prophet lot, whoever that is. Um, just alone, the fact that she ain't calling him Pastor Lot or Pat, what is that his name? Is his name Lot? Just because she's not calling him that, that just I I feel like he gotta be a fraud. <laughs> He got to be a fraud. Like, I don't like that. It, it rubs me. It rubs me the wrong way when people walk around wanting wanting to be addressed as prophet and prophetess. Child, please. Unless we in the church setting, I'm not doing that with you. <laughs> I am not doing that with you. You know, that that's the same for people who like to throw out, oh, that's doctor. So, girl, not down to the club. It ain't <laughs> not down to the club. I'm not calling you Dr. Nobody. Not at the restaurant. I'm not doing it. I'm calling you by what your mama named you. That's what we're going to call you. What your mama named you. Miss me with all that. It's very pretentious. You know? No. No profit lot. Whatever. What? What's his name? That's what we're going to have to find out. Um. Anyway, Drew says she ain't going to be able to have the baby blessing because profit lot done, done laid down with Latoya um, per her assistant. 
he say he the one say that all of this is going on. <laughs> um, and she's like, we done took her to church and she done did all of this and she just done put the moves on the man. She just done laid that thing on him and now he don't know how to act. He done left his fiance and his new baby. That's the story. That's the story that Drew is going to spread all day. <laughs> Whatever, girl. Cynthia's pop-up shop. Drew and Ralph are there. Candy's there. Portia's there. Marlo comes and, you know, she shops with everybody. Portia says, listen, it's cool. She can, she can patronize my business just as long as she stays out my business. And we'll be good. Um, I think Kenya sent a representative for Kenya Moore Hair Care. She ain't there. Uh, oh, because it's um, Brooklyn's birthday party, I think. I think. I don't know, because Candy was at the party. I don't know. Um... Anyway, Drew, like I said, she's telling this story. She tells the same story to Candy. Candy's like, what? So Drew stop. I mean, so Toya stopping blessings? <laughs> wow. Then she's telling Cynthia. Cynthia say, I want no parts. <laughs> I want no parts of any of that. Um, Toya gets there. So, of course, now we got to, you know, address this. And, of course, Candy B lines. Girl, you got a boyfriend? I heard you got a boyfriend now. <sighs> Everybody got to take that in the, in, in the house. Take that in the house. Cynthia's like, let's go to the cellar. So they go to the cellar. And um, that's where that, you know, that's where we're going to hash everything out. Okay, everybody get a drink. Let's get a drink first in us. <laughs> Shamia's like, oh, Toya, you drinking? Okay, girl. Toya, get her some red wine. Um, the, the Toya, you know, she starts, she has to answer these questions. To answer all the questions, she says that, um, Prophet Lot has been her spiritual advisor for the past six weeks. She signed up for a little program and um, that's, you know, that she meets with him every Wednesday. And so that's why, you know, <laughs> I guess there's buzz about them being seen together. But it's more than that. Um, we, I'm sure it's more than that. Toya looked guilty. She just looked guilty and she looked like she about to be on some damage control type of stuff. But um. She ain't here for it. Uh, Drew, they go back and forth. She called a girl a, Del De a Delilah. Say she got a Delilah spirit. For those of y'all that don't know who Delilah is, she talking about Samson and Delilah. In the Bible, Samson and Delilah. Samson was real strong. He was a real strong man. A good, good man, Savannah. And... Delilah comes in with her feminine wiles. And, you know, she put that thing on him. You know, God told him. Don't you tell nobody. Don't you tell nobody where your strength comes from. It'll be the death of you. Don't do it. He don't listen to God, you know, like we always do. And so it was his, it, it was, it was detrimental, you know, him not listening to the Lord. Because sure enough, he told Delilah's ass what the strength was and where it came from. And what did she do? Cause some of the homies to come over there and cut off his hair. And so now he weak. Can't do nothing. That's what she's saying. <laughs> she's trying to say that Latoya is Delilah and Latoya done swooped in on Prophet Lot. And now he don't want to be married no more because he's so in love, you know, because she done put that thing on him. And he's so in love. And it's like F her and the baby, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the story. Latoya ain't having it. <laughs> you know, it's laughable, honestly. Um, but Drew is adamant. <laughs> You messing up the, you messing up, messing up my family. You messing with my house. You messing with the church. You, you know, you, uh, you playing the church. You trying to pray on the prophet. She ain't having it. Girl, you doing a lot. <laughs> Drew is doing a lot. I can't get with you on this one, Drew. I don't even like Latoya like that, but you, this, 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 this ain't the way. This is not the way. Um, Cynthia gets a call from Kenya. Oh, wait, let me make sure I ain't miss nothing, child. Oh, okay. Cynthia gets a call from Kenya, and Kenya invites her to her titty reveal. <laughs> she, done got the, she done got the work done, and now she want to show them off. And so she's inviting her and her close friends, you know, out there to go see what's what. Um, Drew, she gets a call from an industry friend, and the industry friend, and I, I know the industry friend's face. But I don't know her name. Anyway, she lifts her up, you know, sends some positive energy her way. Portia FaceTimes, um, what's the man's name? Dennis with PJ, you know, whatever. These are the, you know, you know how, you know what it is. You know what it is. Um, 
Kenya's little thing, her little her little breasts reveal. We at the party. The ladies show up. Cynthia was first. And um then we, you know, she got to show her friend the 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 progress of her pool. And I've seen the finished product and it is beautiful. Beautiful. It's given LA, you know, in her backyard. <laughs> It's really, it's real nice. It's real nice. And I don't even like Kenya like that. But I got to give her her props when they're due too. You did a great job on that backyard. You, She did a great job on her home, period. You did that, sis. You did that. Um, Moving on. Everybody gets there or whatever and we all go inside. Kenya ain't got no food for the people. And so Marlo got to order some pizza and wings. She's so, it's just, that's tacky, Ken. You don't have the people over and you ain't got no no bites, no eats, no nothing. Like, not even a finger food, like, not even a Chick-fil-A platter. Girl, that's talking about she ain't got time. I don't, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear, if you got time to plan for people to be over here, then you got time to plan to get a platter from Zagsby's, from, from Chick-fil-A, Publix. Girl, I mean a sandwich tray. <laughs> Can we at least get some carrots and some celery? She ain't get the people nothing. So we had the DoorDash. Um, while they waiting on the food or whatever, Kenya asked the ladies, you know, how do my breasts look? They like, oh, you got your breasts done. <laughs> Girl, we can't even see them. She had on this cloak. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not like we could see them, but I mean, hey, hooray for the new boobs. Um, Kenya say she didn't get, she didn't want them too big, you know, or, too, or no, excuse me. She didn't want them too small because, you know, she likes to motorboat. She likes to juggle them a little bit. Cynthia being Cynthia. Okay. Auntie Cynthia says she don't know what motorboating is. And so Latoya gets up and demonstrates, gives her a good little motorboat. And you know, now Cynthia's abreast to what motorboating is. She knows what back door is. Cynthia just don't know none of the sex lingo. I, like, what they saying, where you from, Cynthia? Because <laughs> how you don't know what backdoor action is? What did you think that was? Like a literal backdoor? And you was just getting some action in, you know, in, in your literal backdoor? What did you think it was, Cynthia? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, Candy changes the subject. You know, she says she notices how snugly Kenya and um, Mark were at the party. You know, so she's like, did you get some? Did y'all seal the night? You know, all, did you cap off the night with a with a bang? And um, Kenya, you know, she don't kiss and tell and nothing like that. But she just said she got a text from him. Um, okay, read the text. Read it for the class. She reads it for the class. <laughs> and he on some, I want my family back. I want to come to Atlanta more. I want to stay here in Atlanta more when I do come. And um, what else he say? Oh, he going to go to therapy too. Child. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Kenya, she asked about the pop-up shop. You know, what went down at the thing. Candy tells her about all the mess and what happened. Um, with Latoya and Drew and all of that. And um, Toya conveniently calls Profit Lot, gets him on the line. And I'ma just say he 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 reminds me of somebody off of Instagram. You know, you know the type. The one the ones that the shade room like to show on on Thirsty Thursdays, you know, when they like to show us the slide of men, single men, and it be the same type. Oh, I'm a personal trainer. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, or, you know, that none of them have like, like they can't put a name to the job, but they out there making money. You know, I'm an influencer, those, that type, um, the Beijing beard, you know, the, the heavily tailored <laughs> suit. And by heavily, I mean, super tight. Um, one of them, you know, the short pants, you, you, you know, the type, <laughs> And so that's what he's giving anyway. He got his Gucci on. He looking his best for the call. And of course he debunks everything. And he says, yes, I was advising her. Um, he puts it out there like the assistant got a problem with the two of them um, meeting or whatever. I, I I don't know. Like, so does the assistant want you? Like, what, 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 what are you driving at? What are you driving at, Profit Lot? Because <laughs> we don't buy it. I don't buy it. At least I don't buy it. But they say... They 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 deny deny deny. They get him off the line because uh, Toya on Toya in there about to ask the man. So um, did Ralph tell you what he what he was doing and where you know who he was with when he went to Tampa? 
Candy like, all right, <laughs> that's enough of that. Get off the phone. You're just supposed to be calling him talking about you. And you done went, you know, you done went left. That's, that's, that's drudging up a lot. You know, that's, that's somebody's husband. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, I think that's where it ends. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's where it ends, guys. Um, I'll have your, I'll have your, your up to date, <laughs> um, housewives review, um, midweek this week. By Wednesday, I want to have the rest of these reviews done. Cause of course I got to go do snowfall. I got to do housewives and good girls. So Gotta get her done. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light. <laughs>